channel. So I have another Sephora haul for you guys. Because there was a friends and family event um, a month ago, I think I posted a video up on October 22nd of that event, but then another event came around and I had to take advantage of it. I got another 20% off event that I got to go to, and this was a Sephora VIB Rouge sale. So I'm so glad that there was another sale so I can get my hands on some more items and have a little bit of a justification to actually buy them. So here is the bag that I got the Sephora event, which is just really cute. So it's just the black stripes and the gold spilling over. I think it's just adorable to hold all of my stuff. Um, so the first thing that I got is actually a gift. So hopefully the person that I got this for isn't watching because they will know immediately that it's for them. Um, but it is the Philosophy Miracle Worker um, Anti-Aging Moisturizer. The, so uh, the person that I got this for, they really like skincare. So I thought I would give them another item, especially because they really like Philosophy. So let's just get the skincare out of the way. So the next item that I got is actually really fun. It's called, it's from May Coop and it's called the Raw Sauce. Yes, Raw Sauce. So it's a hydrating and nourishing essence. So apparently essence is this new, oh, let me get this out of the frame. Essence is this new thing in skincare that follows your toner. Um, so apparently it's po a popular thing and when I read it on the back it says, that the essence is a Korean ritual. So it says essence are popular step are popular step in Korean skincare regimens. Most commonly used after cleansing and toning, uh, and before serums. So the main purpose is to hydrate the skin, allowing the serum that follows to absorb more easily and go mu a much way further. So that thought that was really interesting. So let's just open this up. So it comes in this like little nice bag too, which is nice. That way you don't have to worry about it getting scratched up or banged up as much. But this is what it looks like. Um, so I'm really excited to try this out and see how it works on my skin. Now the last skincare item is the Caudalie, Caudalie Paris something. I can't, I cannot say it, but um, I will, you know, write it down here for you guys. You know, so you guys know what I'm talking about. It's called, this is the Premier CRU, and pretty much this is just an oil and serum combo, um, which is really nice, it's two in one. Um, so it says, this precious dry oil, the perfect marriage between luxury and efficacy, absorbs into the skin to provide all around anti-aging action. And when I was talking to one of the representatives at Sephora, they had said that it really helps even out your skin tone. So for someone like me, I have a little bit of redness here, it's supposed to theoretically help even all of that out. Um, but I'm sure you would have to be able, you would have to actually, you know, use this religiously. And I'm going to be honest, I do not do skincare religiously. I don't, I, I do what I can when I can. I do, I'm doing a lot better than I did before um, I got into skincare. But, um, I don't know, I guess we will see. But I feel like with a product like that, if you're trying to actually really make a huge change in your skin as far as toning or trying to minimize the look of wrinkles or fine lines, you're gonna wanna be more consistent and make sure that you really do your skincare every day. Um, but definitely on a daily basis, you wanna make sure that you're taking off your makeup before you go to bed at night. And here's what the serum and oil looks like inside. So we'll see how this does. Okay, so the next thing is really fun. Casey Holmes mentioned this on one of her most recent videos. Um, I think she told us her top 10 Sephora products to get at a Sephora VIB Ruse event or the, just the VIB sale when it comes up. Um, one of the things that she mentioned was from Glam Glow. So it is a fizzy lip exfoliating treatment. So I was like, that sounds great because I have a lot of issues with dry lips. I really love this packaging too. It's really fun because when you open up one of the ends to get one of the balls out, it says, hello, sexy on both sides too, which is really fun. I love the pink packaging. Oh, shoot. I dropped it. Okay, and then it pretty much comes in these like two balls. So one is your exfoliator and one is your lip care. Um, your, what am I trying to say? So one is your exfoliator and one is your lip balm. So I just thought these, these were fun, first of all. Um, I like that they did a set, you know, an exfoliator and a lip balm, because I'm always carrying around my e.l.f. Lip, ex lip exfoliator and Vaseline. So it's nice to have like two that, things that like are supposed to go together. Um, and then these nice silver balls, which actually remind me of ornaments, so I thought that was well played by them. Um, so we have the first one, which I will open, which is the exfoliator. Okay, so this one twisted off easily, but this one I had to work really hard for. So here, I'm going to open up. I think this is the exfoliator for end. Yep. Okay. All right, so here is what it looks like inside. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is an exfoliating like cream. Um, and then on the other one, we have the lip balm. So let me open up that. 
So yeah, and here's the lip balm. So what you could do is if you have dry lips, you can go with the lip balm. You know, let your lips moisturize a bit before you go in with the exfoliator, and then you go in with the exfoliator. You know, exfoliate your lips, and then go back in and finish with the lip balm. So I'm really excited to try this combination. I'm so glad that I watched Casey's video today because I wouldn't wouldn't have gotten this otherwise. And then one of the Sephora representatives mentioned, like, oh, I'm glad you got this. So I'm excited to see how this works. The next thing I got is this NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. So I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this, but I wanted to try it out for myself. Um, in case if anybody's wondering, I am a light six, uh, C-E-Y-L-I-N, L-A-N, Ceylon? Yep, that's what it is. So I wanted to try this out for myself because I'm, I was really excited when it was first coming out. I was like, oh, I really need to try this. And then, of course, I didn't because so many people said that they didn't like it. But some people also said they didn't like the Born This Way Foundation, and I loved it. Um, so I wanted to give this one a shot, too. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this works. So you will see it, I'm sure, in some upcoming tutorials, unless, of course, I hate it. Now, speaking of foundation, I did get two foundation brushes. I really wanted to try to take advantage of the 20% off and get two brushes, especially because I have two Sigma F80s. One works great, and one is just falling apart. It's not as poofy. It's, like, slanting now. It's just, like, I guess I got a dud, but I, I don't know. And I don't even think the other F80 works as well as I wish it could. Like, I still have to go in with my, my fingers. So I'm trying to find a foundation brush that does not require me going in with my fingers. So if you guys have any brushes like that, please let me know down in the comments. But I wanted to try these two out. Now, the first one that I got is from Bare Minerals. So the first one that I got is from Bare Minerals. So I actually have another foundation brush from them that came with the, well, they come with it, but um, it was paired with the uh, Bare Skin Foundation, which I was, I didn't end up being that big of a fan of. But Casey Holmes mentioned this on her channel, along with that same video where she mentioned the Glam Glow. And she had mentioned this Bare Minerals brush, and this is, oh, what does it say? What is it? Why doesn't it say it right on the brush? Like, why don't people do that? Do a beautiful finish brush. And there was a number to it, but I can't remember what it was, but I will link it down below as usual. But she had mentioned this, and she said that she loved how it, you know, applied and like I don't know so she had high recommendations for this one and she put it in her top 10 to pick up at Sephora so I was like okay I've been really wanting to try a foundation brush so I'm definitely gonna be trying this one then the other brush that I got is from Tarte is the buffer airbrush finish bamboo foundation brush so once again wanted to try a foundation brush and I was over in the section um the Tarte section and I saw that this was sitting right next to some foundation so what I did was I poured some of the Tarte foundation um, on this and then just put it on my arm and just brushed it out and I didn't even need to go in with my fingers So I'm really hoping that this one turns out to work out greatly because I really want to have a foundation brush That doesn't require my fingers and I also want to show you guys different options with brushes because I know I am really repetitive in the brushes that I use so I want to try out more I also want to try out more from the drugstore so Whenever I go to the drugstore, I'll try to get some more then too as well, just to mix it up for you guys. All right, then I got two more products. The one I want to mention now is the uh, Sephora Daily Brush Cleanser. This is the first brush cleanser that I ever tried, and I absolutely loved it. I used it up completely. Um, but then I tried two from the drugstore, one from e.l.f., which I think smelled terrible, and then one from Sonia Kashuk, which is all right, but to me it's a little too soapy. Like, whenever you put your, you, like, you need time for your brushes to dry, you know, but this, you don't need your time, really much any time for your brushes to dry at all. Like, and it comes, all the makeup comes right off using this daily brush cleanser. It is just amazing. So I originally bought the sample size, uh, but I opted to get the bigger size just because I really liked it. I was going to push off getting this, but I figured by the time that there was the next Sephora sale, I had run out of the Sonia Kashuk one, so I might as well get this whenever I can get it 20% off. So I'm really excited to have this back in my collection. I'm probably going to keep reaching for this one and not even touch the Sonia Kashuk one, but I, I really wanted to try to use it up just because I don't want it to go to waste. Now the last product that I got has been recommended uh, by so many beauty gurus on YouTube. So I really wanted to try this out, and it is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So. I'm really glad that I got this because I've been, like I've said in like my previous Sephora haul, I wanted to get more setting sprays because I was always using the MAC Fix Plus. So I got the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and now I have another um, finish, like finishing spray. So it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So um, I saw online that Jaclyn Hill had mentioned this in her January 2015 favorites. Um, and then Amanda Ensing used it in a Get Ready With Me video and said she really liked it. 
Um, it was mentioned in other videos as well. So I really am excited to try this one out. I keep hearing about it. I kept being like, eh, I'm not going to get it. But finally, I'm like, you know what? 20% off. This is the time to get it. I also want to mention too to you guys my strategy for whenever I go shopping at Sephora events. So first of all, I try not to buy anything from Sephora until there is a sale. So you'll see a lot of these videos. Whenever I'm doing a Sephora haul, there's going to be like an event mentioned to it. So friends and family event, VIB Rouge event, you know. I will let you guys know that I never did, I don't think I've done a Sephora haul where it's just like I just went shopping at Sephora because I'm not going to get a ton of stuff at full price. I need at least to have the discount to at least justify to myself to get a bunch of stuff to review for you guys, or not to review, but to show you guys that I got. Um, so that is, first of all, my first part of the strategy is to wait until those events, um, minimize how much you get outside of those events so that way you can get the discount, um, and definitely stock up whenever you go to the events. If there are products, that's like the number one thing, if there are products that you buy frequently that you know in a month you're going to buy or in a week you're going to buy, why in the world are you going to push that off until later? and then not get the discount. So I know a lot of people like to stop on brow whizzes, beauty blenders, um, if you have a favorite foundation that you repeatedly buy, get the foundation. Um, I think brow pencils are definitely a good one. Or um, like my daily brush cleanser, get your daily brush cleanser, just stuff like that. Things you wanna stock up on, get them. If you know you're gonna buy them soon anyway, get them now, there's no point in pushing it off and not getting the discount. Another thing that I've been doing at every Sephora event, because there's so many foundations out there that I've been wanting to try, but I didn't want to buy them all at once. So what I've been doing is um, for the past, this is the third event in a row where I've gotten a foundation. So the first event that I went to, I think it was just a VIB Rouge sale, um, like a closed door event sale. I got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Then at the Friends and Family event, I got the Born This Way foundation. And then at this event, I got this NARS uh, All Day Luminous foundation. So um, I wait till those events once again to get the discount on them. And I figured it, It'd be a good idea to spread it out that way to not get multiple foundations at once, especially because, you know, you want to use it up. You know, you want to have like five foundations and then them go all bad before you use them up. So that way it spreads out um, when I get the foundation so I can use up the one that I already bought and then I can go on and get to the next one. So I think that's like been a fun strategy of mine, especially being a beauty blogger. I really want to review a lot of foundations with you guys, but at the same time I need to be mindful to not like go completely crazy. I can't buy five palettes, five foundations, five brow pencils. Like I try to get a mixture of stuff each time that I go. Um, and I think getting one foundation each time really helps. Another strategy of mine too is a skincare. So I've been doing, um, I did one video so far with um, Gabby and we did a skincare video, which I will link down below for you guys. But we're about to come up to a, do another one in November. Maybe it'll come up out in December. I'm not sure. We're still trying to figure out when we're gonna get together to do it. Um, but probably about quarterly, we'll do a video together um, where we go over skincare with you guys. So we're going to go over the next step in the skincare regimen. Um, so I don't think the last event I got skincare products, but the first event and then this event I got skincare products. So I'm like, okay, I know I'm, I have this particular thing that I'm doing and I need, I'm going to need these products for that thing. So for me, it's for filming, but maybe you need a product for a special event that's coming up. Um, so just think ahead. Think like, okay, is there anything that I need right now that, that you know, it may not be something that you regularly buy, but it may be something that you'd want to buy for that particular event. So think about that too. And whenever Sephora has these events, it's also another good time to try out um, brushes. So that's why I'm like, okay, let me try out these two foundation brushes I really need to try. Um, out more brushes and especially if they're going to be high end, you're, that's a good time to try it or any products that you've just been wanting for so long but you could not justify buying it because, you know, you shouldn't be spending that much money on makeup, you know, you need to pay the rent, <laughs> you need to get food, but, you know, once you have that 20% off discount or um, that's the time to be like, okay, you know what, I can go get that now, I think this is the time to do it. So yeah, the big thing is just restocking on stuff and then trying out stuff that you've been wanting to try for a long time, especially when they're really expensive items. So skincare can be quite expensive. So for me to buy that full price is just ridiculous. Even 20% off of this stuff, guys, is still kind of freaking ridiculous. Like even though I get a discount, I still leave with a big bill. Um, it just could have been a lot bigger. And you know, you're stocking up all at once. Like I, I rarely order on Sephora in between. Occasionally there might be one thing like the Becca Champagne Pop came out. I obviously had to buy that. But you know, other than that, 
I uh, just try to stick to these events. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Hopefully those tips really helped you out. If you guys have any tips on how to strategize for Sephora um, events like this and discounts, let me know down in the comments. But that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. Please let me know down in the comments too what you guys got at the Sephora event if you went to the VIB Rouge event. If you're watching this now and the VIB sale has already started or ended, please also let me know what you guys got. I would love to know. And if you're not a VIB Rouge or VIB member and you just want to let me know what your favorite Sephora product is or something that you picked up recently, that works as well too. So I want everyone to be able to comment down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you I think I just restarted what I was doing. No. <laughs> I'm so awkward. It's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. I, you know, I've shopped a lot. I went to DSW after I went to Sephora. I bought three pairs of shoes. So that's the thing, guys. Like, <laughs> no worries. Like, I'm going to have, like, a lot of hauls on this channel. You're going to see a lot of new products because I have no self-control. I am not a role model for self-control. That is why my name is Beauty Attic Next Door. But anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button below. It really helps me out, and it will also help notify you guys of whenever I post videos. And then if you did like this video, please give it a like. I would absolutely love it if you liked this video. And I will see you all next time. Bye!